So we're on the team down home backyard gardening. Join me today while I transplant in the two tomato plants. They're doing very well and we've got in our growing zone up here in Canada until August 15th to grow our tomatoes. So I'm out here this evening and this is one of my favorite times to plant uh, transplants. If I was planting seed, it would be any time during the day. But for my transplants, this is crucial for me because um, you never know. They could say it's overcast um, for later in the day and then it turns out it's really hot and sunny and that'll set your plants back a wee bit. So I find overnight, just so they have that bit of rest, bit of coolness while they're in the ground to recover from being taken out of their pots. Also, what I did this year and found hugely successful, I had often wondered about it and never acted on it, and this challenge actually made me think about it a little bit more. And I decided to plant my seeds directly into a six by six inch pot no transplanting other than going into the container or the or straight into the garden that they will stay to, um, for the summer and fall season as you can see like look at the growth on that this stem is almost as thick as my pinky finger i i've never seen plants thrive like this uh, in my planting over the years. So I will be continuing doing this. I'm going to put these plants in this corner location because it does face west and it faces east as well. And I have a beautiful southern exposure here as well. It'll get sun from first thing in the morning till virtually last thing at night and that's what I want for optimal growth. Also, I can talk to my plants whenever I go by. I don't know if talking to your plants really helps, but I am willing to do whatever it takes to help these plants grow. And the one thing they really have going for them is the seed that I picked is indeterminate. It's undetermined how high they are going to grow. So. They could grow three feet, four feet, five feet. Apparently they can keep growing and growing and growing. So I will provide support for them so they can be happy little plants on the corner. So I just ground up some banana peel and eggshell. I keep them separately in a sealed container. I collect them over the winter and I'm adding it to the soil. I usually do it before my leaves turn purple, but I should have planted these. Like I said, about a week ago, they would have been happier. So I'm just doing a light sprinkle and I don't have bone meal, but I do like to use this combination. Um, I'll be picking up bone meal later, just so I have it on hand in case I need it. Well, Buttercup, what do you think? We're all done? So I've just layered a few inches of the pine mulch on top of the plants to trap in moisture. To uh, which will be nice on the hot days because after rain uh, that usually around here 
uh, helps give them moisture for a few days. I've marked the plants with a pin in between that was on their pots. I'm going to go and wash those pots, soap and water, sterilize them and put them away. And cross my fingers, I should have tomatoes before August 15th. Now thank you so much for this challenge put on by the two channels Next Level Homestead and Down Home Backyard Gardening. Thank you so much, Brian and Chad. What a fun challenge, and I'm very happy to be participating in this and including my grandchildren in the process.